Okay, so you're thinking about moving to the Belmont Shore area in Long Beach. This is a beautiful area, you guys, and I don't blame you for wanting to do a little bit of research on it. Today, we're gonna jump into the computer, look at the numbers. We're gonna be talking about the market conditions, what sold, what hasn't, what the average price point is, stuff like that. So if you're looking to move to Long Beach, California, Belmont Shore, perhaps in the next nine days or 90, it doesn't matter to me, I'm here to help you whenever you're ready and we're getting to it right now. <music> much for being here. My name is Sharon with Sharon Armstrong Homes. I do focus on the Long Beach area um, and we're kind of you know sectioning that up. We do different you know parts of course uh, just to, to give you a good idea of what's going on in perhaps the specific area that you are interested in. Today we're going to be looking at the Belmont Shore area. We're going to um, touch on some of the areas surrounding as well, the other property, uh, excuse me, water properties. Um, so like Naples Island, um, the marina, um, you know, those kind of like the peninsula, those are all water properties right in Long Beach. And so we're going to hit on all of those a little bit, but our focus is going to be mostly on Belmont Shore. We'll get into some of those others uh, another time. But anyway, thanks so much for being here. Uh, if this is your first time to the channel, please subscribe, um, hit the notification bell. And of course, feel free to reach out. I am here to help you. So if you want to call, if you want to text, if you want to email, whatever works best for you, please do that. And we're gonna get to it right now. Forgive the abrupt start to this video. Um, it was part two of the Google Map tour. And um, I decided to just cut it in two, you guys, because it got really long. <laughs> so I'm trying to save you from, you know, a 25 minute video. So uh, that's, uh, that's why you have just sort of like, oh, she just started talking because I was actually in the middle of uh, another video. So anyway, forgive that and we're gonna get to it here switch to our um our market update and i kind of just want to show you a little bit about this particular area and what the numbers look like okay so as you can see here we're on median sales price uh, we're looking back three years okay so this is going to be end of june 2022 and then this is going to go back a little further than that they tend to go back a little further but um the point being you know properties in long beach and the long beach surrounding areas we just continue to build equity and that's what i want to encourage you with yes i know the rates went up i get it the rates did go up it's going to cost you a little bit more in interest right now but you have to be kind of in real estate purchasing for you know at least a couple of years if you're in it for at least two three five years you're more than likely going to build equity yeah we do this we definitely do this but if you were to take that line out and straighten it it's going to go up so uh, we tend to go up four to seven or eight percent every year in the Long Beach area. Um, of course, last year we went up way more than that, double digits. But um, but this is kind of what I want to show you. So, you know, in January 2019, same area, right? The um, median price sales price was 713 and 750. And now, when you look at where we are today, we're at 1.3875. So. Um, these people that lived in this area for this period of time, over three years, have made a lot of money in equity. And that's literally just from living in your home and paying your mortgage. So um, this is this is all property, see, all property types. So this is condos, this is studios, this is, um, you know, multifamily. This is everything, just because I think it's, it's better to look at it that way, because I don't know what you particularly are interested in. But what I want to get across to you is, um, you know, we went up 8.2 percent. So that's that's a lot of money when you're talking about a one point, you know, something million dollar property. OK, so I hope that you found that encouraging. And let's talk about our current days on market. So, um, you know, yeah, we have little little spikes here. You see the little spikes, OK, little spike, little spike, little spike, little spike. But for the most part, especially recently, they, the days on market have been very, very low. And of course, that's all tied in with the extremely low rates that we've had over the last couple of years. And um, just the market being uh, the, the heavy seller's market that we've been in. And I'm sure you know that has corrected a little bit. Um, the market is still changing. We're kind of settling. I believe we're through the most of the, the shock, right? When the interest rates um initially went up in march there was a little bit of a you know setback but we 
still we recovered pretty quickly and we still had so many so many so many buyers because of the low rates that um you know the market was flooded with buyers and that's what pushes the home prices up because you have so many buyers competing for the same house the same property that um they start overbidding so people who bought property then were overpaying in the moment did they overpay now looking at it six months later no they didn't that house is worth what they paid and more more than likely it will more than likely continue to build equity um, but when you're talking about this six days on market that is extremely extremely low um, i'm not surprised by that i think the last several listings i've had have been you know less than a week or you know a week or nine days or had one that didn't even make it to the market so you know um this six days is not again not surprising at all we should start seeing that that number increase it is trending up a little bit right because all the buyers that were in the market for the low rates are now gone they they've left they've decided oh five percent five point five wherever we are <laughs> any given day when you happen to be watching this um that's too high for me and honestly that's still historically historically low so um yes the home prices are higher than they were when the rates were at 12 percent many years ago but um you know rates fluctuate right this is what rates do depending on what's going on in the economic environment worldwide so just keep in mind that wherever your rates are at the time that you're considering a purchase more than likely you're going to continue to build equity and that's going to all settle out so even if you're paying a little higher than you want to be paying in a rate you're still more than likely building equity that's going to make up for that plus and beyond right so again the key is staying in a property for two years three years five years and um starting to build that equity right so even if it means you get into you know a studio or a one-bedroom condo downtown something that's inexpensive you know in a few years you're going to have an opportunity to sell that and then use the, the proceeds of that sale for a down payment so it's always um you know a good idea to consider purchasing over renting renting you're just paying somebody else's mortgage so okay so anyway that stays on market we are anticipating that that's going to continue to increase which is good news for buyers um it gives you more opportunity to look for um you know to to look for additional properties that might work for you and it also means that homes are not flying off the market in one weekend right because that's what we were seeing um if you were a buyer and you were looking for a home to buy you had to pretty much make an offer on it within the first four or five days that it was out or you lose it's gone somebody else somebody else bought it now we're seeing okay so maybe we have a week <laughs> at least more than two or three days to make a decision and to look at some other properties to see if hey this is really the one that we love and we want to write an offer on before if you even thought that it might work you had to write an offer on it and and then just hope for the best now it's settling a little bit so um it's good news it's honestly really good news for buyers and honestly uh, it's still a seller's market guys um when you're a buyer um you have more leverage once you're in escrow once you're in escrow you have a little more of a leg to stand on the hard part is getting the offer accepted um there's still still plenty of competition i have a listing right now um that would have seven offers on and um you know if it had been on the market maybe four or five months ago, I would have had, you know, in the teens, 17 offers on it. So we're still seeing multiple offers. It's just not as many and as much competition, which is good for everybody. Means that the properties are on the market a little longer for the buyers. It helps the sellers be a little more realistic um, because, you know, sometimes sellers were just getting, asking for the moon and they were getting it, um, which is good for them, but it's not necessarily balanced um, for everybody. We want a healthy, balanced, uh, real estate market. So the other thing I want to look at is um, months of supply. And again, this basically means if um, no new properties came on the market, this is how much um, supply we would have supply, meaning homes on the market for a uh, any one month uh, period of time. So as you can see, it was high here. So in May of 2020, we would have had five months worth of homes for buyers to buy up if no other homes came on the market well then look what happened we were down in the ones i mean very 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 low one month's worth of supply is 
incredibly low. So here, here 0.8, now we've climbed a little bit. So this should start also correcting and getting up a little bit higher. Um, for a balanced market, we want it a little bit higher than this, maybe double. Um, it's still low. Uh, even if it were at three, that would still be low. Um, we, we need more inventory. We need more homes on the market. But the fact that homes are sitting um, on the market a little bit longer is a really good sign. So, okay. So I hope that's all been super helpful. I'm going to jump off now. And um, again, if you found this information helpful, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And um, if you have direct questions or you want to set up a Google Meet with me individually, uh, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today.